Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're finally doing a house tour. First of all, I do want to do a little quick disclaimer. The house is not done. I know I said I was going to have a 100% done house by the next video. No. <laughs> um, if not, that would have actually taken me a whole other week. Also, today is my birthday, April 21st. I am filming this at 8.28 a.m. April 21st. We are joined by none other than Mike and Josh. And... I just want to do another quick disclaimer. Be prepared to be sick of the color pink. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and grab yourself a snack. Relax. And let's go ahead and get into this tour. Um, I did change the roof color back into the original color. Because I don't know. I just feel like it did not match. I don't know. Just let me know. This house is currently worth $1.5 million. So the outside is the same. Literally the, exactly the same. But what change? It's what's inside the house. Okay, so let's go ahead and go inside the house. So as you enter the house, we are received by the foyer, you know, very basic. There is nothing here. Literally, it's just a simple little couch and that's it. This first room we're going to go into is going to be my office. So as you enter my office, it is very bright. Um, the sun comes in here when the sun is rising and when the sun is setting and it looks very very beautiful my office is filled with a lot of clutter i try to make it as cluttered as possible this right here is where it's supposed to be the laundry room um i don't i didn't build it yeah that's for another day okay here's going to be a nice lounge area but i'm not gonna build it just yet or i don't know maybe a dance room who knows what i will build here let me know you guys huge credit that's to curtis's i don't want to butcher their names so let me not even try to pronounce it but they helped me build well they built isla's room actually they decorated it and they did such an amazing job i am absolutely in love with isla's room it really does scream isla and it matches taller vibes slash kid vibes so this is really really awesome she has a very big bed which she never really has a big bed but she's going to be in the role place more so hopefully she uses this bed more you know let's hope but yeah i really enjoy this and then she does have a door that leads outside which is again very awesome and she's very lucky and fortunate to have that because she can sneak out that the kids can't <laughs> but i mean i don't think isla would want to sneak out you know i mean not like the kids haven't tried that before but anyway to my left there's an unfinished bathroom and to the right there is a guest room we're obviously gonna go into the guest room because there's nothing to see in the bathroom just yet <laughs> for the guest room like i said no one's gonna really use it besides granny so it's really really basic really really bland and again Credits to Curtis for helping me build this room. Credits to Fabian and Curtis for literally helping me build some of the rooms and just giving me their ideas because without them again, this house would have taken years to get finished and it's still not done. For the dining room, I just added this very long table. I think you guys know we don't really even use these type of dining tables. It's just for decoration because none of us ever be eating in here like throughout the, all the houses we ever had we never set up the dining table it's very rare maybe for thanksgiving but that's it <laughs> like honestly i'm not kidding but the walls i added some detail to them it's just beautiful look at that look at those walls because i feel like without the details the house would have looked bland, like bland blander than like than like a blander you know like super duper bland that you can't even like is you you know yeah um and then this beautiful big chandelier we also added some detail to the ceiling pretty now the kitchen is a mess okay so here we go this is a kitchen i had no idea what i was going to be honest but the counters are marble um over here you know i'm just gonna see outside if the kids are playing outside i can see oven here we have a stove here, very, very basic. And then something new that we are going with this house is um, a bigger fridge. So this is the main fridge and then these are for the vegetables. So we're going to be restocking our new fridge. Sooner or later, there's going to be a new video for that. So I'm so excited to go shopping. You get, I love this little opening here on the wall. <music> Moving on to Winter's Room. So for Winter's room, you know, obviously, obviously, she needs to have a whole big bed. So she has her big bed here, her LED lights. I know they are called LED lights, but Winter likes to call them LED lights. So we added her pink, hot pink LED lights, her pink bed, 
and then here's her vanity i'm gonna have the girls go shopping for whatever they want winter's the only one that has not put up the things though so i think london already did i'm not quite sure and i don't know if you guys can tell her closet was turned into a storage room for all her plushies um she has a little obsession with like unicorns and she literally made me order her all of the unicorns and she still has not completed the whole entire collection so since her closet is being used by unicorns we had to move her closet outside so we just put this little barrier up pink mirror with lead lights her laundry basket and then her big desk she doesn't only have just one desk this girl has two desks one desk is just for her computer and the other one is for like her homework and stuff like that because apparently she needed space i was like okay we have a little reading area because winter loves to read apparently all of a sudden she's all into books and i'm like since when did this happen we could not forget her little swinging chair because if i didn't put it in she would quite literally kick me out of my own house but you go through here and then you go through here and then this is where her bathroom will be so don't worry guys she does have a bathroom <music> we're moving on to james's room <laughs> james's room is messy kid we just moved in and he already has a mess how is that possible we've barely been living in this house for like three days the cool not even three days like two days i'm not sure something like that but this kid already has dirty laundry probably from last house from probably from the last house <laughs> not going to lie he has the best view honestly in my opinion like the best windows i just love this view we do need to get him some curtains though for some privacy you know very basic james room this is definitely a bigger room than the last house so that's very exciting and i really do love this green wall it just gives it like a pop of color you know because obviously there needs to be a pop of color in every single type of room the living room may look plain but it's because it's three stories high okay i cannot go and decorate whatever i'll just show you guys my bad <laughs> as you enter the living room you are going to be introduced by these two beautiful brown custom doors yes custom let's go inside oh, this floor needs to change that's quite embarrassing but again the walls have some detail on them because like i said it will look plain then you have an overview of the living room which is very very awesome you go down these stairs and you have a big mirror and a little bean bag so you can sit down and chill and then the couch is it's very comfy and then we obviously have our beautiful big tv on top and a chimney that reaches all the way to the top so that's that and then you have this beautiful big windows that when the light comes in oh my gosh let me tell you the brightness is so like boom up in your face and it's like wake up so if you're not awake it's going to wake you up if you come to the living room so i suggest you if you're not going to get if you're not prepared to wake up i suggest you not to come to the living room okay mm -hmm. because yeah unless you wake up at night then that's different like right now it's yeah <laughs> and then i added some plants here because why not this is the garage um yeah okay you guys i'm super duper excited for this part of the house so for the first time ever um none of our houses have ever ever had a movie theater here and i decided to add one to our house i mean because like there was a lot of space too and like i did not know what to fill up the rest of the rooms with but i thought about it movie theater and i was like oh, yes so here is the movie theater you guys so you come into the movie theater and this is it um yeah it's very cute i like it you have some popcorn in the back with slushy machines leds just go through the whole thing you obviously turn off all these lights for the full theater mode effect and then if you open up these blinds you see the outside but we have them down because it's a movie theater and we don't want no sunlight to come in here <laughs> Moving on to my room slash my own living room. So let's go. You come through this little hallway. You open this door up and you make it into my own personal living room. Because I need a break too. I love this mirror right here that I had to buy it for my own room. You guys will see what I mean by that. I also have some blankets and some pillows in this basket just in case I want another extra blanket. And then of course I have to have a hot pink light. Because why not? But now moving on to my room, which is very small, but this adds, you know, something. But it's very cozy. I didn't really want a big room because I was thinking of taking Winter's or London's room. But then I was like, no, no, no. You know what? I kind of want a 
small room for once in a while because i really got used to my old small room from the old house we just moved from from my temporary home um i got used to it and i really really like the small cozy vibe so i was like me too in the new house <laughs> you come in here and the lights are kind of yellow my bad but it gives that warm welcoming vibe i don't know if for you guys but for me it does my bed is literally london's from last house i just got new sheets and stuff like that but i literally had to take her bed because i love this so much nightstands here another little area so i can sit and read my books all of a sudden i love to read books too and yes i do read for the aesthetic of it <laughs> what <laughs> anyways we don't talk about that um my tv here because you know i gotta watch my shows too and my beautiful mirror i love it so much and that's pretty much it for my room and my own living room what do you guys think i really do enjoy it <laughs> You guys may have noticed that I do not have a bathroom in my room, but that's because me and London will be sharing a bathroom. So yeah, that's that. This is an empty room, so there's nothing in here, if you guys were wondering. But this is mine and London's bathroom that we will be sharing. This is a very nice, elegant type of bathroom. So you have your own shower here, and then the toilet has its own little house, so you know, you can just lock yourself in the toilet if you need to. <laughs> And then it has this cute, very cute bathtub type thing and pink carpet. You know, it's very, very cute. It just, it feels homey in a way. And I really, really do like it. And the marble wall just give it that thing, like extra texture that it needs. And we obviously have a laundry basket in here because obviously you come take a shower, you know, you take your clothes off and you're gonna put it in the laundry basket because it's dirty. So yeah, um, I don't know why I just said that, but I just did. So <laughs> enjoy it. Um, <laughs> That's basically it for this bathroom. I really, really do like it a lot. Just being in this house in general gets me so excited to start filming real plays for you guys. Like, I'm now I'm so motivated and I have so many ideas. So, so consider subscribing. It is totally free. And turn on your post notifications on so you never miss a video. We're making our way into London's room. I am in love with London's room. Like, I am in love. I don't know why I always just end up loving London's room more than my own room. But you know what? Here we go. So, for London's room, as soon as you walk in, you are hit with, like, a very cool purple color tone but that's because it's her vanity here and i am in love with her vanity like i'm literally gonna make this my room i don't care london london if you're watching this i'm making your room my room i don't care i really don't like i need this room for myself but yeah she has a really cute vanity here and i really do like it a lot it just screams like it's so like clean but messy if you know what i'm trying to say the light is a lot though it's like very sickening you know <laughs> but i really like it because it just gives that purplish and then her mirror here and then you walk into this like this little she has her own little living room as well just like me you know oh my gosh i really like this view not gonna lie <laughs> she has some books here because she reads too i guess but she reads magazines so that's different and then she has a hello kitty cafe um cafe menu for what i don't know but it matches so she has it there her own tv her own chimney her own fireplace her beautiful bed it's very clean nice you know her closet here and then she loves to paint all of a sudden i mean i guess they have since london loves to paint she requested me to add a paint section to her room so that's exactly what i did she has all her paints here and of course they're pink <laughs> two buckets of white and you know all these other ones and then some of her clay sculpting class things up there so there yeah <laughs> right in front of london's room we have something we never really done before or added into any of our houses but i felt like this house really needed it so we added i decided to add like a little makeup room station let me turn off all of these lights because that's very bright and i'm so sorry for you guys' eyes um but yeah i added this and i really do like it because like all of us can get ready here or london's friends when they come over they can all get ready you know and you just have literally everything you have face mask and moisturizers and hairsprays and brushes and you know everything you could possibly ever look for it's here and these cabinets are gonna hold a lot of things here also because london wants to start her youtube channel for like routines and stuff like that so that's gonna be very very cool and amazing for her to start and it, this could help her a lot so i really do like and enjoy this a lot and then we have like a little coffee table here with some coffee table book <music> 
Are we crazy for adding a sauna? Hmm, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is our sauna. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it would be really, really cool because since we do have a gym, which we're going to next, um, I just feel like, I don't know, you know, a little healthier vibes, elegance. So the elegance could be a little bit more healthier. You know, they're in the healthy arrow vibes. I don't know. It's just a normal fireplace. And you, I know you may think like, oh, you just have a sauna? Like, that's cool. Let me show you a little secret i don't feel like i should show you guys this but you know what it's fine i share with you guys almost literally everything so let's go ahead and um you know oh my gosh what is this um <gasps> open oh my gosh <gasps> yep you guys is a secret door guess where it leads to my vault type thing this glass is bulletproof everything proof you know the only thing that's not proof is me proof amelia proof so <laughs> yeah i obviously have the passcode for this but in here, inside this vault, it contains some of my cash and then some gold bars. But yeah, it's just a sauna, you guys. <laughs> then we have another bathroom here or whatever, storage room, whatever it's going to be. And then this room is already taken, but we will f decorate that one in the future because I had no time. <laughs> okay, you guys, a last room. Oh, last room, last little house, the last, <laughs> anyways, this is a gym and I really like it. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> so you walk in and you have to check in. You have to check in, you guys. You just have to. And this little tablet, you're going to put, oh, my name is Amelia Elegance. And I'm checking into the little gym in our little house, you know. You have your own little pink lockers. Every locker is mine. So <laughs> that's a little quick disclaimer. You could choose any locker, though, for the day, I guess. And then this beautiful rug. I love this rug. You have treadmills that are looking out to the light yeah treadmills with the beautiful landscape oh, love it beautiful view one punching bag and i totally had to add some weights in here i definitely did not add weights oh my gosh it's quite embarrassing but the weights will be coming in so yeah and then beautiful big mirror so like it's a gym ballet class whatever you want to call it for winter and isla but anyways you guys that's pretty much it for the entire uncomplete house tour like i said it's just basically it's just some bathrooms and like one or two rooms so like please don't get mad at me <laughs> yeah um that's pretty much it if you guys do want to take some ideas of course just make sure to give credits and you can go ahead and use it um other than that that's pretty much it for today's video this house is worth 1.5 million dollars if i sound a little crazy and slow this video it's literally because i have not gotten any sleep to try to get this video out for you guys so please forgive me um next video i'll be more energized and more you know not so confusing with my words and not a lot of stopping blah, blah, blah. but yeah you guys that's pretty much it for today's video really hope you guys did enjoy it and that's pretty much it i'll see you guys next time happy birthday to me because you know um, it's my birthday <laughs> Also, happy birthday to Alexia. So, yeah, because we have the same birthday. Isn't that so crazy and cool? But anyways, you guys, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's your late birthday, happy late birthday. If your birthday's in the future, happy future birthday. And if your birthday was in the past, then happy past birthday. I love you guys all so much. Really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.